today I'm going to be talking about uh, the equipment I use for painting water mix oils. So I'll be talking about all the brushes, all the different containers I have. Uh, first I'm going to just start with the canvas for the easel I guess people want to know which one I'm using. This is our Richardson Best H-Frame canvas. My brother got it for me a while ago, uh, but I've modified it a little bit. I've, I've sawed off the uh, bottom lip here so it, I can get the palette knife into the, the bottom part of the canvas. At some point, I'll probably also do the same to the top, but that's the canvas I'm using, or the easel. <laughs> I'll get it right sometime. The canvases I use are Sunbelt canvases, so, uh, Made in U.S., side stapled. They're only double primed, so you don't have a lot of the issues with uh, like paint not soaking into the canvas. If you get quadruple prime canvases, the paint will just like not soak in at all. So if you try to take any paint away, you'll be left with a, pl a plain bare white canvas. For the painting palettes I use, someone asked me. I think Mike Conway asked me what I use. Uh, this is. Uh, custom wooden I don't know how to explain it I had a guy a local guy here at McGrail's woodworking I sent him a uh, little drawing of what I wanted and he uh, just cut uh, some old wood that he had so there's only two of these that exist if you want he can probably make you another one but yeah he made a couple of them for me I forget how much they were like I think 40 bucks or so but yeah these are what I use they're gigantic pieces of wood uh, the top is prime. The top is, uh, I guess you would call that primed or finished. The bottom is not. Um, and yeah, so that's the palette I use. Very large, like I think it's a foot by two and a half foot. <laughs> so very large palettes. All right, now for the fun part. So these are all the brushes that I use when I'm painting. Not, not every single one of these, but they're in some combination. So this first one. Uh, is an Alexander, it's called a Hake, or Hake, Hake, I think it is, blending brush. And this is used just like a little blender brush. I think Kevin Hill has one too. Uh, very. Uh, Bob Ross also has one, uh, and I think I have one somewhere. But it's just a very soft bristle. It's used to soften edges, uh, and it works really well. I like this one because it has a really long handle. So if you need to reach something far away, it's good for that. These are Alexander Magic Brushes, the one inch. I use these for pretty much everything. Every painting I do, I use this and the two inch brush. They work kind of well with the water mixable oils, but they do tend to uh, puff, puff out. So I don't know if you can tell, but normally they're like this when you get them, but this one's kind of puffed out a bit. So just something to be aware of. These are the only weird ones that I use. These are Trilon uh, synthetic bristle brushes. I get them at Home Depot. So they, I use them for applying, uh, applying the liquid white and then any background colors. I use them for that because I can wash them and they don't flay out like natural bristle brushes do. And this is just one that I've been using for liquid white. And they do get some residue in them. I don't know if you can see. Uh, they do get some residue in them, but they're very easy to clean. These are two and a half inch brushes, the Alexander Magic Brush. I I love these brushes. I, I could do an entire painting with these. I, they're, they're just so good. Um, I do have the, the uh, they get puffy, kind of like I was mentioning with the other natural bristle ones, but they're just really nice. They cover a lot of area. They're a half inch larger than the Bill, uh, Bob Ross ones, so Bill Alexander, uh, two and a half inch. Yep. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all natural bristle. Very, very good brushes. Let's move on to the Egberts. So I use Egberts a lot. I don't use Filberts very often. These are just uh, some that I've been trying. They're called Signet Robert Simmons brushes. Uh, they kind of act the same way as Filberts, but uh, you can. I found I can do more motions with them. And if I'm trying to do brushes or bushes with them, they make interesting bushes because they spread out a lot more. So that's why I have these. You can also rinse them off in water and they 
flay out a little bit, but not too bad. These are two Bill Alexander filbert brushes. If I do use a filbert, these are the ones I'll be using. They're made out of badger hair, I believe. So uh, it might be synthetic badger hair, I think. But yeah, they clean up really well in water. They don't flay out at all, really. They're, uh, they keep their shape really well. Um, the only times I have them flay out are when I've, I've, I've cleaned them up with, uh, what is that, vegetable oil mixture that I make. This one, this is a unique one. This is a, a little round, uh, combo round, Bill Alexander combo round. They only have it in one, one of their packs, but it's similar to the Kevin Hill detailed round. It's a very small round brush. It's good for making comma strokes, things like that, little tiny, tiny leaves. This is just a large fan brush, the Alexander fan brush. These work well in water, but they do, they do tend to stain. I think you can see that in there. Yeah, you can see this is like blue stain. They get stained pretty easy. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about the staining because it doesn't come off on your painting. Well, if it's stained in the brushes, it's not going to show up on your on your painting unless it's not cleaned up actually. All right, this is ah an Alexander sable brush, and I have two of them. I use one for dark and one for lights. They're kind of like the yeah, I can bring it a little closer. They're kind of like the Bob Ross uh, script liner, but they're much more, f uh, they're a little bit longer. So they're somewhere in between the Kevin Hill script liner, which is like maybe that long, and then the Bob Ross one is like maybe that long. These ones are kind of in the middle. And I, that's why I like using those. For the palette knives, uh, these are the last ones I'm going to talk about. These are Bill Alexander palette knives. So this is the small one. It's a, uh, it's got a rounded edge here, which is different. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of that, but uh, it, if you need to make really fine or small rocks or something, it's good for that. And then this is the, this is the one I use the most often. This is the regular Bill Alexander palette knife. It uses, or it has a very long end, and then the small side is actually almost the same as the the small one so you can get one of these and not get the small one i think you'd be okay but if you want both that's fine too but i really like this one it's very flexible it bends in the middle um, which is what you want in a palette knife and yeah i, I definitely would recommend this one out of all these that and the two and a half inch brush i think you can do a full a full painting with but so yeah, that's my, that's all the equipment I use. If you have any questions about other equipment that I use on my stream, let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching.